Now here's your performance task. It's about fish pond designing. What will happen is your role is an agriculturist. You are an agriculturist working for Mr. Lacandula, an aquaculture farmer. And Mr. Lacandula would like to increase his production of milk fish, or we call it bangus, due to its high demand. He's thinking of making a larger fish pond in his 800 square meter lot near a river. As an agriculturist, you will help Mr. Lacandula in making a sketch plan of the fish pond to be made. Out of the given situation and the sketch plan made, formulate as many quadratic equations, and I'm sorry for the next line. I said, then solve by factoring. Actually, for this PT, you can use other methods other than factoring. You will submit your sketch plan to Mr. Lacandula. Your sketch plan must be accurately made, presentable, appropriate, and with quadratic equations with correct roots. Now, how will you do it? I will not answer the fish pond designing, but what will I do for to help you with your PT is I'll give you a parallel example. For example, we have a dog in the house and we want to create a dog fence. My dog fence must only have four, must only cover 40 square feet. So again, the area of my dog fence should only be 40 square feet. If you go back to Mr. Lacandula, he is thinking of making a larger fish pond. It is 800. The area is 800 square meters. In my dog fence, will only have 40 feet. So what will I do first? Remember that area is the product of length times width. So let me start by drawing. I'll just draw two, two designs. You can go two or more. Mm. It can be four feet by 10 feet. Here's my first proposal. Why? Because if you multiply 4 times 10, the area will be 40 feet, right? Or here's another one. Um, I, can, I want my dog to major in running. So I want it longer. I can have it 2 feet by 20 feet. Anyways, if you multiply 2 times 20 feet, that is still the same area, right? 40 feet squared, sorry, squared. So these are two possible designs. Design number one and design number two. If you want to make it square, no problem. Try making it square as long as my maximum area is 40 feet squared. What will I do next? Now, let me, to make it into a quadratic equation, I need to have a value for my x. Example, let x equal be equal to 2 feet. So if x is equal to 2 feet, then how will I write my first design? It's 4, right? And x is 2. So for my first design, my width is x plus 2. What will be my length? It's 10. Remember 10. And my x is equal to 2. So my length will be x plus 8. You need to tell me what is the value of your x. For design number 2, It's for running. Remember, my width is two feet. So my width can be X. Then what will be my length? It's 20 feet. And my X is two. 
So it will be x plus 18. Remember, the area should be 40 feet. 40 feet. Now, how will I write this in a quadratic equation? Let's go to design number one. Remember, length times width is equal to its area. Let me change my ink color. So for the first one, area, sorry, length times length times, what happened to my pen? Length, my pen won't write. Wait for a while. Okay, for example, length times width. So that's going to be x plus 2 times x plus 8 equals 48. Let me use my whiteboard if it works. Okay. Clear. For design number 1, it's going to be area equals length times width. So we have x plus 2. The other is x plus 8 equals 40. What will you do next? Solve for the value of x. So expand first, then do the quadratic formula, factoring, or any method you want to have. For design number 2, my formula will be x, what's the other one? x plus 18 equals 40. Then I'll solve for the value of x. So that's it. That's how you do it.